Question 1. Jane works as an HR manager for a medium-sized technology company. Recently, the company has been experiencing a high turnover rate among software engineers, which is impacting project timelines and overall team morale. What strategic approach should Jane adopt to address this issue effectively? A. Implement a comprehensive employee engagement program to boost morale. B. Focus on improving learning and development opportunities for software engineers. C. Develop a competitive total rewards package that includes salary, benefits, and incentives. D. Enhance the talent acquisition strategy to hire more software engineers. Correct answer. C. Develop a competitive total rewards package that includes salary, benefits, and incentives. Explanation. Addressing high turnover requires a holistic approach. Offering a competitive total rewards package helps attract and retain talent by providing appealing compensation and benefits, which can positively impact employee engagement and retention. Question 2. Which aspect of HR strategic planning involves analyzing internal and external factors to identify potential workforce gaps and develop recruitment strategies? A. Talent acquisition and retention. B. Employee engagement and relations. C. Learning and development. D. Workforce planning. Correct answer. D. Workforce planning. Explanation. Workforce planning involves analyzing current workforce capabilities and future needs to ensure the organization has the right talent in place. It involves identifying gaps and developing strategies for recruitment and retention. Question 3. What is a key benefit of effective learning and development initiatives in an organization? A. Reduced turnover rates. B. Increased employee engagement. C. Enhanced organizational performance. D. Improved employer branding. Correct answer. C. Enhanced organizational performance. Explanation. Effective learning and development initiatives improve employees' skills and competencies, leading to enhanced organizational performance. This can result in higher productivity, innovation, and overall success. Question 4. What is a primary focus of HR strategic planning? A. Managing day-to-day -day operations. B. Addressing immediate staffing needs. C. Aligning HR initiatives with organizational goals. D. Conducting routine employee evaluations. Correct answer. C. Aligning HR initiatives with organizational goals. Explanation. HR strategic planning involves aligning HR practices, policies, and initiatives with the overall goals and objectives of the organization to ensure HR contributes to business success. Question 5. Which of the following is an example of an employee engagement strategy? A. Offering competitive compensation. B. Implementing flexible work hours. C. Conducting exit interviews. D. Issuing performance warnings. Correct answer. B. Implementing flexible work hours. Explanation. Implementing flexible work hours is an employee engagement strategy aimed at enhancing work life balance and improving job satisfaction. Question 6. Which HR function is responsible for attracting, selecting, and onboarding new employees? A. Total rewards. B. Talent acquisition. C. Learning and development. D. Employee relations. Correct answer. B. Talent acquisition. Explanation. Talent acquisition focuses on recruiting and hiring new employees to meet organizational needs. Question 7. What is a critical component of effective employee relations? A. Offering high salaries. B. Resolving workplace conflicts. C. Implementing strict disciplinary actions. D. Providing mandatory training. Correct answer. B. Resolving workplace conflicts. Explanation. 
Effective employee relations involve managing workplace conflicts, promoting open communication, and fostering a positive work environment. Question 8. Which HR function involves designing and implementing programs to enhance employee skills and competencies? A. Talent acquisition. B. Employee engagement. C. Learning and development. D. Total rewards. Correct answer. C. Learning and development. Explanation. Learning and development focuses on training, development, and career growth initiatives for employees. Question 9. What is the purpose of conducting a talent audit in HR management? A. Assessing employee performance. B. Identifying training needs. C. Evaluating workforce diversity. D. Assessing the availability of critical skills. Correct answer. D. Assessing the availability of critical skills. Explanation. A talent audit helps HR assess the availability and readiness of critical skills within the organization to address talent gaps. Question 10. Which factor is a key consideration in designing a total rewards package? A. Employee engagement levels. B. Competitors' benefits offerings. C. Number of employee grievances. D. Employee turnover rates. Correct answer. B. Competitors' benefits offerings. Explanation. Competitor benchmarking helps HR design competitive total rewards packages that attract and retain top talent. Question 11. What is a primary goal of workforce planning? A. Reducing employee benefits. B. Increasing workplace diversity. C. Anticipating future talent needs. D. Implementing performance appraisals. Correct answer. C. Anticipating future talent needs. Explanation. Workforce planning involves forecasting future talent requirements to ensure the organization has the right people with the right skills at the right time. Question 12. Which HR function is responsible for administering compensation, benefits, and recognition programs? A. Employee engagement. B. Total rewards. C. Talent acquisition. D. Performance management. Correct answer. B. Total rewards. Explanation. Total rewards encompasses compensation, benefits, and recognition programs designed to attract, motivate, and retain employees. Question 13. What does the term employee engagement refer to? A. Employee turnover rate. B. Employee morale and satisfaction. C. Employee disciplinary actions. D. Employee absenteeism. Correct answer. B. Employee morale and satisfaction. Explanation. Employee engagement measures the emotional commitment and satisfaction levels of employees towards their work and organization. Question 14. What is the purpose of conducting a training needs assessment in an organization? A. To evaluate employee performance. B. To identify skill gaps and development opportunities. C. To calculate employee turnover rates. D. To assess workplace diversity. Correct answer. B. To identify skill gaps and development opportunities. Explanation. A training needs assessment helps HR identify areas where employees require additional skills or development to enhance performance and productivity. Question 15. Which of the following is a benefit of promoting employee wellness programs in organizations? A. Reduced healthcare costs. B. Increased employee turnover. C. Higher absenteeism rates. D. Decreased job satisfaction. Correct answer. A. Reduced healthcare costs. Explanation. 
employee wellness programs can lead to reduced healthcare costs by promoting healthier lifestyles and preventing chronic illnesses. Question 16. What does strategic workforce planning involve? A. Filling job vacancies quickly. B. Aligning HR strategy with organizational goals. C. Conducting routine performance evaluations. D. Implementing employee engagement initiatives. Correct answer. B. Aligning HR strategy with organizational goals. Explanation. Strategic workforce planning ensures that HR initiatives and practices support the organization's strategic objectives and long-term goals. Question 17. Which HR function is responsible for managing employee grievances and disputes? A. Talent acquisition. B. Employee relations. C. Total rewards. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. B. Employee relations. Explanation. Employee relations deals with managing employee grievances, disputes, and ensuring fair treatment in the workplace. Question 18. What is the purpose of conducting exit interviews with departing employees? A. To recruit replacement employees. B. To assess employee performance. C. To identify reasons for turnover and improve retention. D. To provide feedback on training programs. Correct answer. C. To identify reasons for turnover and improve retention. Explanation. Exit interviews help HR understand the reasons why employees leave the organization, enabling them to implement strategies to improve retention. Question 19. Which HR metric assesses the time taken to fill a job vacancy? A. Turnover rate. B. Time to hire. C. Absenteeism rate. D. Employee engagement score. Correct answer. B. Time to hire. Explanation. Time to hire measures the number of days it takes to fill a job vacancy from the time it is posted until the offer is accepted by a candidate. Question 20. What is the purpose of a performance management system? A. To calculate employee benefits. B. To assess workplace safety. C. To evaluate employee performance and provide feedback. D. To manage employee grievances. Correct answer. C. To evaluate employee performance and provide feedback. Explanation. A performance management system helps assess employee performance, provide constructive feedback, and align individual goals with organizational objectives. Question 21. Which HR function focuses on designing and implementing compensation and benefits programs? A. Talent acquisition. B. Employee engagement. C. Total rewards. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. C. Total rewards. Explanation. Total rewards encompasses compensation, benefits, and recognition programs designed to attract, motivate, and retain employees. Question 22. What does the acronym DNI stand for in the context of HR management? A. Development and innovation. B. Diversity and inclusion. C. Discipline and Improvement. D. Distribution and Integration. Correct answer. B. Diversity and Inclusion. Explanation. D and I refers to diversity and inclusion, which are essential principles in HR management aimed at creating a diverse and inclusive workplace. Question 23. Which HR practice focuses on ensuring compliance with labor laws and regulations? A. Total rewards. B. Talent acquisition. C. Employee relations. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. C. Employee relations. Explanation. 
employee relations ensures compliance with labor laws, regulations, and policies to maintain a fair and legally compliant work environment. Question 24. Sarah is an HR manager in a large corporation. She notices that the company's employee turnover rate has increased significantly in the past year. What should Sarah do first to address this issue? A. Implement a new performance appraisal system. B. Conduct an employee engagement survey. C. Increase salaries across the board. D. Hire additional staff for the HR department. Correct answer. B. Conduct an employee engagement survey. Explanation. Conducting an employee engagement survey can help Sarah gather insights into employee satisfaction, identify reasons for turnover, and develop strategies to improve retention. Question 25. Which of the following laws regulates the hiring process to prevent discrimination based on protected characteristics such as race, gender, and age? A. Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA. B. Family and Medical Leave Act. FMLA. C. Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA. D. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Correct answer. D. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Explanation. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act prohibits discrimination in employment based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Question 26. What is the purpose of conducting a job analysis? A. To determine employee benefits eligibility. B. To assess workplace safety protocols. C. To identify the tasks, duties, and responsibilities of a job. D. To calculate employee turnover rates. Correct answer. C. To identify the tasks, duties, and responsibilities of a job. Explanation. Job analysis involves identifying and documenting the tasks, duties, and responsibilities of a job to create accurate job descriptions and specifications. Question 27. Which HR metric measures the percentage of employees leaving an organization within a given period? A. Absenteeism rate. B. Turnover rate. C. Time to fill. D. Productivity ratio. Correct answer. B. Turnover rate. Explanation. Turnover rate measures the percentage of employees who leave an organization over a specified time period, often calculated annually. Question 28. What is the purpose of a performance improvement plan, PIP? A. To terminate underperforming employees. B. To recognize high performing employees. C. To address performance issues and set improvement goals. D. To implement new employee benefits programs. Correct answer. C. To address performance issues and set improvement goals. Explanation. A performance improvement plan, PIP, is designed to help employees overcome performance issues by setting specific improvement goals and providing support. Question 29. Which HR function focuses on attracting, sourcing, and hiring qualified candidates for job openings? A. Total rewards. B. Employee engagement. C. Talent acquisition. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. C. Talent acquisition. Explanation. Talent acquisition involves recruiting, attracting, and hiring qualified candidates to meet the organization's staffing needs. Question 30. What is the purpose of a 360-degree feedback process? A. To calculate employee bonuses. B. To evaluate employee benefits. C. To gather feedback from multiple sources for a comprehensive performance review. D to implement new training programs. Correct answer. C. To gather feedback from multiple sources for a comprehensive performance review. Explanation. 
A 360-degree feedback process collects feedback from various sources, e.g., supervisors, peers, subordinates, to provide a comprehensive assessment of an employee's performance. Question 31. Which HR function focuses on designing and delivering training programs to enhance employee skills and knowledge? A. Employee relations. B. Learning and development. C. Total rewards. D. Talent acquisition. Correct answer. B. Learning and development. Explanation. Learning and development focuses on designing, delivering, and evaluating training programs to improve employee skills, knowledge, and performance. Question 32. What is the purpose of an affirmative action plan, AAP, in organizations? A. To implement performance management systems. B. To provide employee benefits. C. To promote diversity and equal employment opportunities. D. To calculate payroll taxes. Correct answer. C. To promote diversity and equal employment opportunities. Explanation. An affirmative action plan, AAP, aims to promote diversity and equal employment opportunities by implementing proactive recruitment and selection practices. Question 33. Which HR metric measures the average number of days it takes to fill a job vacancy? A. Absenteeism rate. B. Turnover rate. C. Time to hire. D. Employee engagement score. Correct answer. C. Time to hire. Explanation. Time to hire measures the average number of days from job posting to job acceptance, indicating the efficiency of the recruitment process. Question 34. John is an HR manager conducting a training needs assessment for the company. Which of the following methods is most effective for identifying skill gaps among employees? A. Conducting employee satisfaction surveys. B. Reviewing turnover rates. C. Performing competency assessments. D. Analyzing employee attendance records. Correct answer. C. Performing competency assessments. Explanation. Performing competency assessments helps identify specific skill gaps among employees by evaluating their current competencies against desired job requirements. Question 35. Which federal law mandates employers to provide eligible employees with up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave for certain family and medical reasons? A. Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA. B. Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA. C. Family and Medical Leave Act, FMLA. D. Equal Pay Act, EPA. Correct answer. C. Family and Medical Leave Act, FMLA. Explanation. The FMLA requires covered employers to provide eligible employees with job-protected unpaid leave for specific family and medical reasons. Question 36. What is the purpose of a total rewards program in an organization? A. To reduce employee turnover. B. To streamline recruitment processes. C. To align compensation and benefits with business objectives. D. To conduct employee engagement surveys. Correct answer. C. To align compensation and benefits with business objectives. Explanation. A total rewards program aims to align compensation, benefits, recognition, and work-life balance initiatives with organizational goals and objectives. Question 37. Which HR function involves managing relationships between employees and their supervisors to promote a positive work environment? A. Talent acquisition. B. Employee relations. C. Learning and development. D. Performance management. Correct answer. B. Employee relations. Explanation. Employee relations focuses on managing workplace relationships, resolving conflicts, and promoting a positive work environment. 
Question 38. What is the purpose of succession planning in an organization? A. To address workplace safety concerns. B. To identify high potential employees for leadership roles. C. To implement new employee benefits programs. D. To calculate turnover rates. Correct answer. B. To identify high potential employees for leadership roles. Explanation. Succession planning involves identifying and developing high potential employees to fill key leadership positions in the organization. Question 39. Which HR metric measures the percentage of time employees are absent from work due to illness or personal reasons? A. Turnover rate. B. Absenteeism rate. C. Time to fill. D. Employee engagement score. Correct answer. B. Absenteeism rate. Explanation. The absenteeism rate measures the percentage of scheduled work hours that employees are absent due to illness, personal reasons, or other non work related factors. Question 40. What is the purpose of a job analysis in the context of compensation management? A. To evaluate employee performance. B. To determine employee benefits eligibility. C. To identify job duties and responsibilities for accurate job evaluation. D. To conduct employee engagement surveys. Correct answer. C. To identify job duties and responsibilities for accurate job evaluation. Explanation. Job analysis helps identify and document job duties and responsibilities to facilitate accurate job evaluation and establish equitable compensation levels. Question 41. Which HR function involves designing and implementing programs to recognize and reward employee performance and achievements? A. Employee engagement. B. Learning and development. C. Total rewards. D. Talent acquisition. Correct answer. C. Total rewards. Explanation. Total rewards encompasses designing and implementing compensation, benefits, recognition, and work life balance programs to attract, motivate, and retain employees. Question 42. Which federal law prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities and requires employers to provide reasonable accommodations in the workplace? A. Family and Medical Leave Act, FMLA. B. Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA. C. Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA. D. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Correct answer. C. Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA. Explanation. The ADA prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities and requires employers to provide reasonable accommodations to qualified employees. Question 43. What is the purpose of a performance management system in an organization? A. To design employee training programs. B. To conduct employee satisfaction surveys. C. To evaluate employee performance and provide feedback. D. To calculate turnover rates. Correct answer. C. To evaluate employee performance and provide feedback. Explanation. A performance management system aims to systematically evaluate employee performance, provide constructive feedback, and support employee development and goal achievement. Question 44. Sarah is an HR manager responsible for talent acquisition in her organization. Which of the following recruitment methods would be most effective for targeting passive candidates? A. Job postings on company websites. B. Employee referrals. C. Social media recruiting. D. Networking events and industry conferences. Correct answer. B. Employee referrals. Explanation. Employee referrals are an effective method for reaching passive candidates who may not actively apply for job openings. Employees can recommend qualified candidates from their professional networks. 
Question 45. What is the purpose of conducting a job analysis in the context of talent management? A. To determine employee engagement levels. B. To identify training needs for employees. C. To develop job descriptions and specifications. D. To calculate turnover rates. Correct answer. C. To develop job descriptions and specifications. Explanation. Conducting a job analysis involves identifying the tasks, duties, responsibilities, and required qualifications for a specific job role. This information is used to create accurate job descriptions and specifications for effective talent management processes. Question 46. Jessica is an HR manager tasked with promoting diversity and inclusion in her organization. She wants to implement a strategy to ensure equal opportunities for all employees, regardless of their background. Which of the following initiatives would best support Jessica's goal? A. Implementing blind recruitment practices. B. Offering unlimited vacation days to all employees. C. Promoting a traditional hierarchical organizational structure. D. Restricting employee resource groups to specific demographics. Correct answer. A. Implementing blind recruitment practices. Explanation. Implementing blind recruitment practices involves removing personally identifiable information, such as name, gender, ethnicity, from job applications to reduce unconscious bias and promote diversity and inclusion. Question 47. What is the primary purpose of HR technology in workforce management? A. To reduce employee training costs. B. To automate routine HR tasks. C. To eliminate the need for employee feedback. D. To increase turnover rates. Correct answer. B. To automate routine HR tasks. Explanation. HR technology, such as HRIS, Human Resource Information System, and payroll software, is used to automate administrative tasks like payroll processing, benefits enrollment, and attendance tracking, allowing HR professionals to focus on strategic workforce management. Question 48. Which ethical principle is most relevant to HR professionals when handling confidential employee information? A. Integrity. B. Confidentiality. C. Accountability. D. Transparency. Correct answer. B. Confidentiality. Explanation. Confidentiality is an ethical principle that requires HR professionals to protect sensitive employee information from unauthorized disclosure. Upholding confidentiality builds trust and maintains privacy within the workplace. Question 49. Which of the following is a key benefit of effective workforce management? A. Increased turnover rates. B. Improved employee engagement. C. Reduced training opportunities. D. Enhanced workplace conflicts. Correct answer. B. Improved employee engagement. Explanation. Effective workforce management practices contribute to higher employee engagement by aligning organizational goals with individual aspirations and ensuring optimal resource allocation. Question 50. Mark is an HR manager reviewing employee engagement survey results. He notices a declining trend in responses related to career development opportunities. What is the most appropriate action for Mark to take based on this information? A. Implement mandatory training sessions for all employees. B. Revise the performance appraisal process. C. Develop personalized career development plans. D. Disregard the survey results as they may be inaccurate. Correct answer. C. Develop personalized career development plans. Explanation. Personalized career development plans address individual aspirations and skills, fostering engagement and retention. Question 51. Which of the following HR technologies helps in monitoring employee performance and productivity? A. 
payroll software, b. performance management systems, c. benefits administration tools, d. recruitment applicant tracking systems. Correct answer, b. performance management systems. Explanation. Performance management systems enable continuous feedback, goal setting, and tracking of employee performance metrics. Question 52. What role does HR technology play in promoting diversity and inclusion? A. Eliminates the need for diversity training. B. Facilitates data-driven decision-making. C. Restricts access to certain employee groups. D. Minimizes the importance of workplace culture. Correct answer. B. Facilitates data-driven decision-making. Explanation. HR technology provides insights into workforce demographics, enabling organizations to identify diversity gaps and make informed decisions to foster inclusion. Question 53. Which strategy is effective for managing workforce diversity? A. Implementing standardized recruitment processes. B. Offering the same benefits to all employees. C. Creating inclusive employee resource groups. D. Excluding diverse candidates from leadership positions. Correct answer. C. Creating inclusive employee resource groups. Explanation. Employee resource groups, ERGs, provide a platform for diverse employees to connect, share experiences, and contribute to organizational initiatives. Question 54. What is the primary purpose of HR risk management? A. To maximize employee turnover. B. To minimize legal liabilities. C. To eliminate performance evaluations. D. To discourage employee feedback. Correct answer. B. To minimize legal liabilities. Explanation. HR risk management involves identifying and mitigating potential legal risks to protect the organization from lawsuits and compliance issues. Question 55. Which HR practice supports effective talent acquisition? A. Restricting job postings to internal candidates only. B. Implementing a diverse recruitment strategy. C. Offering limited benefits to new hires. D. Conducting minimal background checks. Correct answer. B. Implementing a diverse recruitment strategy. Explanation. A diverse recruitment strategy ensures access to a wider talent pool, promoting inclusivity and innovation. Question 56. What is the purpose of HR technology in learning and development? A. To reduce employee engagement. B. To automate training administration. C. To discourage skill development. D. To limit access to training resources. Correct answer. B. To automate training administration. Explanation. HR technology streamlines training processes by automating enrollment, tracking progress, and delivering personalized learning experiences. Question 57. Which ethical principle is fundamental to maintaining HR integrity? A. Transparency. B. Exclusivity. C. Accountability. D. Censorship. Correct answer. A. Transparency. Explanation. Transparency fosters trust by ensuring open communication and fairness in HR practices. Question 58. What is the role of HR technology in talent retention? A. Increases turnover rates. B. Supports remote work policies. C. Provides real time employee feedback. D. Automates employee termination. Correct answer. C. Provides real-time employee feedback. Explanation. Real-time feedback through HR technology helps identify and address employee concerns, improving job satisfaction and retention rates. 
Question 59. Sarah is an HR manager responsible for promoting diversity and inclusion in her organization. Which action is most aligned with fostering an inclusive workplace culture? A. Implementing a uniform dress code for all employees. B. Hosting regular diversity training sessions for managers. C. Excluding diverse candidates from leadership development programs. D. Allowing employees to self-identify pronouns on email signatures. Correct answer. D. Allowing employees to self-identify pronouns on email signatures. Explanation. Allowing employees to self-identify pronouns demonstrates respect for gender diversity and promotes inclusivity. Question 60. What is a key benefit of implementing effective talent acquisition strategies? A. Increased turnover rates. B. Reduced recruitment costs. C. Limited access to qualified candidates. D. Higher employee absenteeism. Correct answer. B. Reduced recruitment costs. Explanation. Effective talent acquisition strategies minimize recruitment costs by attracting and retaining qualified candidates. Question 61. Which HR technology is commonly used to automate payroll processes? A. Applicant Tracking System, ATS. B. Learning Management System, LMS. C. Performance Management Software. D. Payroll Management System. Correct answer. D. Payroll Management System. Explanation. Payroll management systems automate payroll calculations, tax deductions, and employee payments, improving efficiency and accuracy. Question 62. What is a fundamental principle of ethical HR practices related to employee relations? A. Confidentiality of employee information. B. Ignoring employee feedback. C. Favoritism towards certain employees. D. Encouraging workplace conflicts. Correct answer. A. Confidentiality of employee information. Explanation. Maintaining confidentiality of employee information is crucial to building trust and safeguarding privacy in HR practices. Question 63. Which HR function is primarily responsible for employee learning and development initiatives? A. Talent acquisition. B. Benefits administration. C. Performance management. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. D. Learning and development. Explanation. The learning and development function designs and implements training programs to enhance employee skills and knowledge. Question 64. What is the main objective of HR risk management in an organization? A. Maximizing legal liabilities. B. Eliminating performance evaluations. C. Mitigating potential legal risks. D. Minimizing employee benefits. Correct answer. C. Mitigating potential legal risks. Explanation. HR risk management focuses on identifying and minimizing legal risks to ensure compliance and protect the organization from legal issues. Question 65. Which HR technology tool is used to gather employee feedback and sentiments? A. Performance Management System. B. Employee Engagement Survey Software. C. Recruitment Applicant Tracking System. D. Payroll Management System. Correct answer. B. Employee Engagement Survey Software. Explanation. Employee engagement survey software collects feedback and sentiments to measure employee satisfaction and identify areas for improvement. Question 66. What is a key objective of HR technology in workforce management? A. Increasing workplace conflicts. B. Streamlining employee scheduling. C. Restricting access to HR resources. D. Eliminating employee benefits. 
Correct answer. B. Streamlining employee scheduling. Explanation. HR technology and workforce management automates scheduling processes to optimize staffing levels and minimize scheduling conflicts. Question 67. Which HR practice supports effective talent retention? A. Limiting professional development opportunities. B. Implementing flexible work arrangements. C. Ignoring employee feedback. D. Offering minimal benefits. Correct answer. B. Implementing flexible work arrangements. Explanation. Flexible work arrangements contribute to talent retention by promoting work-life balance and accommodating diverse employee needs. Question 68. What is the primary purpose of HR technology in performance management? A. Automating recruitment processes. B. Providing real-time feedback. C. Monitoring employee attendance. D. Calculating payroll deductions. Correct answer. B. Providing real-time feedback. Explanation. HR technology and performance management enables continuous feedback, goal setting, and performance tracking to improve employee performance. Question 69. Mark is an HR manager tasked with improving employee engagement. Which strategy is most effective for enhancing employee engagement? A. Implementing strict performance metrics. B. Encouraging open communication and feedback. C. Removing employee benefits. D. Limiting access to professional development opportunities. Correct answer. B. Encouraging open communication and feedback. Explanation. Encouraging open communication and feedback fosters trust and collaboration, leading to improved employee engagement. Question 70. Which HR strategy is aligned with workforce planning? A. Hiring without assessing future needs. B. Conducting talent gap analysis. C. Ignoring succession planning. D. Limiting diversity initiatives. Correct answer. B. Conducting talent gap analysis. Explanation. Talent gap analysis is essential for workforce planning, ensuring that organizations have the right talent to meet future needs. Question 71. What is a key component of effective talent acquisition strategies? A. Hiring based solely on technical skills. B. Ignoring employer branding. C. Focusing on short term recruitment. D. Emphasizing cultural fit and values. Correct answer. D. Emphasizing cultural fit and values. Explanation. Emphasizing cultural fit and values ensures that candidates align with the organization's culture, leading to better retention and performance. Question 72. Which HR practice supports diversity and inclusion initiatives? A. Promoting biased hiring practices. B. Fostering an inclusive workplace culture. C. Restricting employee resource groups. D. Excluding diverse candidates from leadership positions. Correct answer. B. Fostering an inclusive workplace culture. Explanation. Fostering an inclusive workplace culture supports diversity initiatives by promoting respect, equity, and collaboration among employees. Question 73. What is a key benefit of using HR technology for employee training and development? A. Limited access to training resources. B. Reduced administrative burden. C. Ignoring skill gaps. D. Implementing one-size-fits-all training. Correct answer. B. Reduced administrative burden. Explanation. HR technology automates training processes, reducing administrative tasks and improving efficiency in managing employee development. Question 74. Which HR function is responsible for managing employee compensation and benefits? A. 
Employee relations. B. Total rewards. C. Talent acquisition. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. B. Total rewards. Explanation. The total rewards function manages employee compensation and benefits to attract, retain, and motivate employees effectively. Question 75. What is the primary objective of HR technology in performance management? A. Increasing employee turnover. B. Automating disciplinary actions. C. Providing real-time feedback. D. Restricting employee communication. Correct answer. C. Providing real-time feedback. Explanation. HR technology in performance management enables continuous feedback and goal tracking to improve employee performance. Question 76. Which HR practice supports effective employee engagement? A. Discouraging open communication. B. Ignoring employee recognition. C. Offering growth opportunities. D. Implementing rigid policies. Correct answer. C. Offering growth opportunities. Explanation. Offering growth opportunities, such as training and career development, contributes to employee engagement and satisfaction. Question 77. What is a key component of strategic workforce planning? A. Ignoring future skill needs. B. Implementing short term hiring strategies. C. Conducting talent assessments. D. Limiting employee feedback. Correct answer. C. Conducting talent assessments. Explanation. Conducting talent assessments helps identify current and future skill needs, informing strategic workforce planning initiatives. Question 78. Which HR strategy focuses on improving employee productivity and efficiency? A. Implementing rigid work schedules. B. Fostering a supportive work environment. C. Limiting access to professional development. D. Ignoring performance evaluations. Correct answer. B. Fostering a supportive work environment. Explanation. Fostering a supportive work environment positively impacts employee productivity and efficiency by promoting motivation and well being. Question 79. Sarah, an HR manager, wants to enhance employee retention. Which strategy is most effective for improving employee retention rates? A. Implementing rigid work policies. B. Offering competitive compensation and benefits. C. Ignoring employee feedback. D. Limiting professional development opportunities. Correct answer. B. Offering competitive compensation and benefits. Explanation. Competitive compensation and benefits are key factors in retaining employees and reducing turnover rates. Question 80. Which HR practice supports effective talent management? A. Ignoring succession planning. B. Limiting training and development opportunities. C. Fostering a diverse workforce. D. Implementing fixed job roles. Correct answer. C. Fostering a diverse workforce. Explanation. Fostering a diverse workforce is essential for effective talent management, promoting innovation and broader perspectives. Question 81. What is the primary goal of HR technology in talent acquisition? A. Increasing bias in hiring decisions. B. Automating candidate screening processes. C. Ignoring job descriptions. D. Restricting recruitment channels. Correct answer. B. Automating candidate screening processes. Explanation. HR technology streamlines talent acquisition by automating candidate screening, reducing manual effort and improving efficiency. Question 82. Which HR practice supports effective employee relations? A. 
discouraging open communication, b. limiting conflict resolution initiatives, c. implementing fair and consistent policies, d. ignoring employee feedback. Correct answer. c. implementing fair and consistent policies. Explanation. Implementing fair and consistent policies fosters positive employee relations and a respectful workplace culture. Question 83. What is a key benefit of promoting learning and development programs? A. Decreased employee engagement. B. Reduced employee turnover. C. Ignoring skill gaps. D. Limiting career growth. Correct answer. B. Reduced employee turnover. Explanation. Promoting learning and development programs enhances employee skills and engagement, reducing turnover rates. Question 84. Which HR function is responsible for performance evaluation and feedback? A. Talent acquisition. B. Total rewards. C. Learning and development. D. Employee relations. Correct answer. D. Employee relations. Explanation. Employee relations oversees performance evaluation processes and provides feedback to employees. Question 85. What is a key component of effective HR risk management? A. Ignoring compliance regulations. B. Implementing diversity initiatives. C. Identifying and mitigating workplace risks. D. Limiting employee engagement. Correct answer. C. Identifying and mitigating workplace risks. Explanation. Effective HR risk management involves identifying, assessing, and mitigating workplace risks to ensure compliance and safety. Question 86. Which HR practice supports employee wellness and work-life balance? A. Implementing inflexible work schedules. B. Ignoring employee health concerns. C. Offering flexible work arrangements. D. Limiting access to mental health resources. Correct answer. C. Offering flexible work arrangements. Explanation. Offering flexible work arrangements supports employee wellness and work-life balance, contributing to job satisfaction. Question 87. What is a key objective of HR technology in employee engagement? A. Limiting communication channels. B. Automating employee recognition programs. C. Ignoring employee feedback. D. Implementing rigid performance metrics. Correct answer. B. Automating employee recognition programs. Explanation. HR technology automates employee recognition programs, fostering a culture of appreciation and improving engagement. Question 88. Which HR strategy focuses on promoting an inclusive workplace culture? A. Ignoring diversity initiatives. B. Implementing biased hiring practices. C. Fostering equity and respect. D. Limiting employee development opportunities. Correct answer. C. Fostering equity and respect. Explanation. Fostering equity and respect promotes an inclusive workplace culture, supporting diversity and employee well-being. Question 89. Which HR function is primarily responsible for designing compensation and benefits packages? A. Talent acquisition. B. Employee relations. C. Total rewards. D. Learning and development. Correct answer. C. Total rewards. Explanation. The total rewards function within HR is responsible for designing and managing compensation and benefits packages to attract and retain talent. Question 90. What is the purpose of implementing diversity and inclusion initiatives in the workplace? A. Limiting employee engagement. B. Fostering a culture of equity and respect. 
c. Ignoring organizational values. d. Restricting collaboration. Correct answer. b. Fostering a culture of equity and respect. Explanation. Implementing diversity and inclusion initiatives promotes a culture of equity and respect, enhancing collaboration and innovation within the organization.